In this video, I will show how to do the one sample t-test in SPSS. This is the data that I obtained from that I obtained. I want to test the IQ score for the student. Uh, my hypothesis is mean of the IQ score is equal to 105 and the mean of one IQ score is not equal to 105 and the H1 is what I claim that look at this data I claim that mm, the IQ score of this student is not equal this group of student is not, not equal to 105 so now I want to do the analysis then I choose compare mean and look at here we found that in SPSS we don't have T test, say we don't have Z test. But in this data that I obtained, I have 30 data. In suppose we have to use Z test, but we don't have Z test here in the compare mean. So what we can do is we choose the one sample T test instead of the Z test. Because when uh, the sample size is large enough, we use the t-test, the t-test will approach to normal. So you choose one sample t-test and then you choose the variable that you want that is the IQ score and the test value for this case is one what is the test value? 105 and the option you can choose the confident interval how many percent confident interval that you want to obtain 95% 99% or 90% confident interval and then you press OK <coughs> SPSS will show this result so it will show the N number of uh, N mean standard deviation the test value, degree freedom, and the significant. In this case, the significant is 0 0.01. If our alpha is 0 0.05, then it is obvious that 0 0.01 is less than 0 0.05. So we reject Heshna. We reject Heshna, then that means the mean of IQ score is not equal to 95%. So, I want to ask if our hypothesis changed to the mean of IQ score is less than or equal to 105 and the mean of IQ score is greater than, uh, rather than 105. So, can I use this? P value to make the decision the answer is no because this significant value is for two tail case so if in this hypothesis it is actually a one tail case so what you need to do is you have to divide this by two then only you use the then then that only will be your p-value so p-value for this one two case will be 0 0.0005 and you can also reject h naught that's all for this video thank you